Okay, so I was just working on a video previously, and I didn't actually expect this to come up. So as you can see, 4 hours ago, Paul from the Roblox staff team just posted that the next gen studio UI preview is now here and in beta. So as you can see, uh, just coming over this post, you can see that here's a comparison between today's studio, which looks a little bit like this, the good old studio we're all used to and very familiar with, and now the new Studio UI, which is a much more refined, minimalistic and new revision of Roblox Studio. As mentioned in the post, there's a couple of noteworthy features in the release. The new design language styling includes colour-coded icons. Thank the lord this is finally here. The default ribbon tabs have been simplified, I think these are the ribbon tabs, might be slightly confused. And the new menu system, on Mac they'll appear in the macOS menu bar which is that thing in the top left. Note that items were previously on the view tab will be in the view tab and window menus. Script UI tabs are always present, no more disappearing tabs, I think those are the tabs up here. And the playtest controls are always present in the upper left, and as you can see they're always there up here. So now, uh, ooh, we have a little preview video here, so I think it's just him going through the UI and all of that good stuff. And then they mentioned that it's more than just a new UI. And as you can see, he says, For the past year, we've been working behind the scenes on what we call the Modular Studio Framework, a modern multi-threaded architecture that makes it easier to build robust studio functionality. A few of these implements have been deployed when possible, but the current UI was too entangled with old, outdated patterns that have been the source of many hangs and crashes in studio. To really clean things up and set the foundations for a new and true next-gen studio, we need to completely visit, revisit the core cool UI of studio. So it almost seems like a rewrite here. And as you can see, this isn't that important, but they're moving to Lua U, um, and that will reduce the amount of UI implemented in Qt uh, or C++. And not only does this give them a path towards a consistent and customizable UI, it also means to make improvements to UI workflows will also benefit the community for building UI for experiences. Um, this is still under heavy development, so a lot is subject to change, and they plan to keep updating the beta for week, from week to week. It's too early to say when it'll be out of beta, but they're, current, but they're currently planning for 2025. They're also working on additional functionality and fixes, uh, refinement on overall styling, customization capabilities, and now the most important thing is, I'm going to actually show you how you can try out this new gen studio. So first things first, you need to actually be inside of Roblox Studio. What you're going to do is you're going to head over to File, then to Beta Features, and we're just going to size this up for convenience. And now let's look for it. The next gen UI. Where is it? I always hate scrolling through this. Come on. You gotta hear something. Oh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Completely stupid I am. As you can see, what you need to do is click on this, click save, and then click restart. Now, it's time to see what this update brings. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see. This has definitely changed. I presume this is just some dead space up here. Ah, we have the creator notifications, like from the creator dashboard. Oh, it also looks like we can have multiple accounts. Wow, okay. There we go. We have some snazzy animations. Um, we have the help up here. Okay, well, let's hop into a base plate and see what this is like. Okay. And whoa, okay. I mean, it feels like studio, don't get me wrong. I mean... <laughs> Uh, I think some of the primitives are still there, like the Explorer. I'm sure that will be refined later on, but... I mean... Hold on. I've just completely messed this up. They really need to tidy up this. Select the thing, I hate it. Okay. Okay, I'm sure that will be refined later. For now, we're just gonna leave this guy chilling out here. We'll just close them, actually. And so, whoa. Okay, what the hell is a geometric... Oh my god. Okay. So we have our terrain menu here, oh my god, okay, once again, you can definitely feel the beta. So, would I recommend using this right now? No, but would it be good to get yourself familiar with this? Yes, definitely. So I think you can add, yeah, custom tabs are coming soon, they're not here just yet. I presume this is the assistant, yeah, it is. Then how do I even add a par? I feel like a noob here. Uh, no, yes, maybe. Oh, is it a model? There we go. And then we can scale it up and stuff. Um, okay, what's the scripting like? Okay, I did close my explorer here. Let's see, let's size this up. Come on. 
I absolutely hate this menu. Let's add a script. And yeah, editor looks relatively similar. Everything looking normal here. But the tabs, I think there's a lot of work in progress. As you can see, these hard lines. Everything is a bit, <laughs> a bit funky. And the play button's obviously up here. But I like the direction it's going, honestly. If they keep this up and really integrate it, I think this will be such a cool touch to Studio. And Studio's been needing this for so long. As much as I love the primitive style of Studio, it is time for an update. And I'd love to hear what your opinions on it are down below. So thank you for watching this. This was not the video I was actually planning on releasing tonight, but here you go.